What's good, Skins fan? It's your man, Ed Oliver. Not the one from the Bills, but the one that is a huge Skins fan. Great man, Dilly Dilly. What's good, Skins fans? Not guilty. Y'all got to feel me, man. My man's Monte Nicholson. That's what I'm talking about. Charges have been dropped. Just got word that the charges were dropped. Um, stemming from the incident in December. We all know they caught him on camera, TMZ. Everybody was like, oh, what's going to happen to Monte Nicholson? Now we kind of know. We get some closure. Good news after good news. Rupert Foster, not guilty. Y'all got to feel me on him. Um, he gets to play. No suspension. Monte Nicholson, we don't know whether there's going to be a suspension. I'm not sure. I don't know if the league is still going to try to suspend him. But this is awesome. 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 Great news for my Washington Redskins. Our defense is looking elite. Um, looks like we probably will not have to sign Eric Berry or Trey Boston. Um, you know, we can just use the guys that we have. And this this really works out. It saves us money as well. Um, it gives us some more room, some more wiggle room, I think, and with cap space. Um, you know, he's, I think he's still on his rookie contract. I know he's a fourth-round pick. I think it was like 2017 or something like that. Um, but Monte Nicholson, he should have been playing more last year anyway. But I think after we brought in HaHa -Ha Clinton Dix, who just didn't work out for the team, you know, they kind of put him on the bench. And he really didn't get a lot of playing time. And I think I don't know if he was just sad or depressed or whatever from his opportunity being gone because haha Clinton Dix basically took his spot. You know, he just got upset and you know, I mean, I know I'm not gonna talk too much about the situation, but I know where wherever it was in Richmond or Ashburn or wherever the players go after after the late night, during the late night late night and stuff like that. Um, I know they like to party and have fun and stuff like that, but they gotta understand that People in them bars and clubs, they interrogate you. They want you to get in trouble. They try to provoke you and make them fight you and stuff like that because they want to get paid. They think they're going to get money from suing you and being assaulted and being punched and stuff like that. So they, they just got to be careful of stuff like that. But I, like I said, I'm not going to get too much into stuff like that. But great news for um, the Washington Redskins, man. Um, Greg Minuski, he's got to show up, man. You got the pieces at every position looks really really good right now. Uh, Landon Collins at strong safety. Uh, free safety, Monte Nicholson. Every position across the board. Our front seven is elite. I don't care. Everybody knows this front seven is ridiculously good with Ruben Foster, um, Ryan Kerrigan, Pro Bowler. The list goes on and on. The Bama boys up front, Jonathan Allen, Deron Payne. I love, I love talking about this defense. This is my favorite part of the team is our defensive front and even on the back end with Landon Collins. My goodness gracious like wow even the bench the guys coming off the bench man the, the rotation guys tim settle ryan anderson sean Dion hamilton man whoo people say i'm sleeping on a sean Dion hamilton or something like that but nah i'm woke on him man i can't wait to see them play even if guys get injured knock on wood we got guys that can step up and and, and come in and play because even like jojo mcintosh i mean guys like that there's guys that we haven't even, a lot of people haven't even heard of that can step in and, and, and play, man. I can't wait for this year, man. I'm so hyped. Like, I can't wait, man. Training camp is going to be so lit. But, um, And then another thing I will address is um, Dwayne Haskins. Um, of course, 106.7 106 The Fan. I do watch them in the mornings. I do listen to them on YouTube as well. Um, one of the guys, I think EB, he said something about Dwayne Haskins with the Bentley. Uh, I think people took it out of context. I do understand what he was saying about that. Um, that he bought a Bentley the other day. If you didn't know, Dwayne Haskins bought a Bentley the other day. And uh, the guy EB was saying, Eric Beckel, whatever his name is, he said uh, it, it was a little too quick. He doesn't like that he bought the Bentley. And, you know, he needs to play first and show up and should have bought a different car and all that. And just forget about that, man. Just worry about what he does on the field, man. If he buy, goes out there and buys a Lambo, uh, a Bentley or whatever he chooses to do, that's fine, man. I'm not worried about that, man. I'm thinking about him producing and playing on the field you know they did talk about when Kirk Cousins his bum self when he bought the uh the minivan that was beat up or whatever you know they gave him a hard time but who cares man just just care about what these guys produce if they're showing up to film they're showing up and getting there early on time he can drive his Bentley all he wants get get to work on time get to work there early watch film read the playbook that's all you need to be worried about Dwayne that's all you Dwayne has that's all that's all he really needs to be worried about man for real but I, I get what he's saying. I'm not going to jump on him on his back like everybody else was. 
But um, you know, just worry about worry about the field. But I'm, I'm like I said, get back to Monte Nicholson. That's awesome news, man. That's really good. People, that's big news. That's that's this is big, big news, man. This is huge news. Our our defense is is in this this a it's an elite. It's an elite defense. This is an elite top ten. We are top five. But like I said, Greg Minuski is the X Factor. He's the X Factor. Greg Minuski, that's the only person I see holding us back, to be honest with you. That's the only person. That's the only person. Because last year, there's no way in the world we should have underachieved like we did defensively. After the first eight games, there's no way in the world. There's no way we should let Zeke get even 50 yards. Zeke should not get 50 yards against us. Uh, what the Eagles running back, Miles Sanders, I don't even know who they're starting. Jordan Howard, are you kidding me? They should not get 50 yards on us. No way. No way. No more than 70 yards. Maybe like the 70 at the most. But as a team, they should get no more. With our with our front uh, front seven, with Deron Payne, Jonathan Allen, uh, 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 Tim Settle, uh, who else? Matt Ioannidis. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Man, put Daniel Jones in the game, please. He is not. Daniel Jones going to be like, man, I don't even want to play no more after seeing our front seven. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. But let me know what y'all think about this move, man. Great move. Um, Like I said, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do that. If you're a real Skins fan, if you're a football fan, definitely um, don't forget to like the video and comment, man. Definitely comment. I'll respond to all the comments. I love, I love commenting back and forth with you guys. Have a lot of fun with that. Um, hit the notification bell as well. And uh, if you're a Wizards fan, hey, NBA fan, definitely tune into the live stream tonight. It's gonna be lit. It's gonna be lit. We're gonna see where Zion's gonna end up. Jay Moran, all them boys. Uh, R.J. Barrett. I'm fine with one of those guys to the Wizards. For real, I'm telling you, I'm fine with either three of those guys. But it's gonna be lit tonight. Definitely tune into the live stream. All right, y'all. Hail to them skins. Hail to them wizards. Arch all right, y'all. Peace.